We're here at Chiefswood, the birthplace of E. Pauline Johnson on the Six Nations of the Grand Territory to talk about why Pauline should be the first Canadian woman on our currency. She is part of the founding nations of our country and is an iconic figure in our history. When I first heard about this appeal to find a woman of significance, I thought of Pauline Johnson, not only for the legendary poetry that she wrote, but for the performances that she made on stage all across Canada and in Britain. She was ahead of her time as a woman in, the, in our society to not just recite the poetry that she wrote, but to perform it in a very dramatic way. I believe she's a very transformative person. She comes along at the right time and the right place, just when they need her. She's entering into an age of Victorianism. They can call it that until it's all over. However, that's what she is, Victorian woman. But she never forgot who she was. She knew that she was a Mohawk woman, that she was part and parcel of a race of people that had lived here for thousands and thousands of years. I think she was um, a pioneer as a woman in Canadian society, um, but one must remember the, the indigenous culture where women played a very significant role in the decision-making as the head of the clans within the nations. It is this legacy of achievement, of acknowledgement, that as a Canadian, as an Indian woman in Canada, indigenous, that is a two-way street. And I believe that that's what she was portraying on the stage and in her writing. And, uh, and that is her legacy. It's important for her to be on the currency uh, because, first of all, she would be the first woman, other than the Queen, to be on the Canadian currency. And, and secondly, the currency is used by everyone, so everyone will see it and will get to know her story. This is a chance to acknowledge and celebrate our shared history. So please click the link below and vote for Pauline Johnson.